Hi guys, me again. And today I'm going to be talking about the settings that I use for racing in VR in Assetto Corsa Competizione. If you've ever tried to race in VR with ACC, you might notice that out of the box, it's not the greatest experience ever. Well, thankfully, the community I'm in, in ACCSS, had a lovely member called Victor, who happened to do a lot of work around getting ACC to be an enjoyable experience. And he's allowed me to share some of these settings with you. Some of these are my own, and uh, the, the magic ingredient is the hard work that he put in. So big props to the man. Let's have a look at the settings we're talking about. So first up, you need to find the directory that your um, engine.ini is installed in. So usually this is your C drive, you know, from Windows. And then under users, your username, we then go to app data, local, AC2, saved, and then config. In config, we go to Windows No Editor, and here we can find the engine.ini. Back up your old file and install the one that I've um, included in the description. Don't worry if you didn't follow the whole path, I've um, made sure that it's also in the description. In the Steam VR window, go to settings. The first thing you want to do in Steam VR is to make sure you're using roughly 80 hertz as the refresh rate. Now it would be nice if this was configurable per application, but it's not. And unfortunately, with the demands of a set of course of competition, running at the other refresh rates will probably mean you end up having to have motion smoothing forced on rather than just on. We go to video. We make sure we go to per application video settings. Find a set of course of competition. We have motion smoothing enabled. Custom resolution. 150. Custom field of view down to 97. We don't override the world scale or the um, legacy reprojection or throttling behavior settings. Just leave those as is. So in ACC, we go to options, video. You can see I've got a, a custom VR preset here. So it's always good to save VR um, or any presets. In the standard settings, I have full screen enabled with uh, a 1080p resolution with disabled VSync, frame rate limiter off, the menu frame rate limiter enabled, um, triple screen disabled, and HDR output disabled. And then in the basic settings, we have resolution scale. 70% view distance mid shadows mid shadow distance mid contact shadows enabled anti-aliasing mid anti-aliasing type temporal effects mid post processing low foliage low texture epic mirror view distance 40 meters mirror quality mid mirror frame rate auto Mirror resolution auto, mirror resolution auto, opponent's visibility 20. Then under virtual reality, we have VR pixel density 100 and virtual to real scale 100%. Under advanced, we have materials quality high, temporal upscaling enabled, bloom quality high, volumetric fog disabled, Foliage LOD low, 
car lod 70%, H lod enabled, and advanced sharpen filter disabled. Under image customization, we have motion blur disabled, saturation 100%, white balance neutral, sharpness 200-ish, in this case it's 211, but around 200%. Camera dirt effect free, image contrast 0.5, exposure gain 0.4, tone mapping aces. And we're not using HDR. Bear in mind, these settings are for my machine and I'm currently running a 3080 GPU. So you might want to tone down things like the um, scale in Steam VR and play around with some of the level of detail settings in ACC to, to get it how you like. With these settings, I'm able to achieve over 80 frames a second continuously. So that means that I, I basically have a stable frame rate for driving, which is something I personally need. Don't forget to like this video if you like this kind of thing and leave some comments if you have some, say, adjustments to settings that you feel could be made to make it better for different GPUs. And stay safe, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.